That's a good thing I decided to pop this freaking thing. Yeah, uh, steering wheel nut is finger tight. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> sure. Inch and three quarter. All right, let's see what we got in the scrap bin. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Inches. Oh, that's pretty good for four inches. Okay. Come in to two inches, and then we got an inch and three quarter. So let's go seven eighths on either side. Two inches ish. Yeah, that's close enough to center. Sorry about the perspective shift, but every time I hammer on the table with the camera stuck to the table. <laughs> it corrupts the memory card. Drill some holes. this work. Okay, I think we got our implementation of Doom. And just run this guy in like that. Cool. Alright, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Alright, let's see if we can make this thing work. That worked. The dog. Well, now that we got the wheel off, there's one thing I don't like about this thing. It's just too big around. So let's see if we can't make this a little bit smaller. You know, like this. See? Thanks to Sean Filner, we got ourselves a new steering wheel. Gave me the uh, stole the part number off of his video. If you don't, uh, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and link it in the description down below. But the problem with this wheel is it's a little bit too high. It's actually about twice the height as the old wheel. Um, so we got to cut a half inch off of here so that we have about three eighths of an inch left over. And then drill some holes to put the turn signal cancel on there and uh, we should be good. So let's get to it. This is our marker. Garbage calipers. Three eighths of an inch. sure we're in the right location.
clean this up. Maybe do something else with the center cap. It's gonna rattle. It's gonna drive me nuts. Can't take it. All right. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes, I'm wearing flip-flops. They're my machinist flip-flops. <laughs>